Hello. I was reading a post today and somebody was talking about, uh, it was Chris Brown. Doesn't matter this Chris Brown, but I noticed that uh, he was talking about uh, brick sills and and uh, lentils. That got, got me interested. I hadn't really studied that in a while. And so I'm going to set my uh, interior, interior, exterior walls to brick four. I'm going to draw me some. Let's make a little box. Next, I'm next. I'm going to go um, <clears throat> just put a window in here on the upside, and I'll explain why on this side's uh, the right side rather than this side down here. <clears throat> We're going to draw some at, and uh, custom uh, molding profiles and add them to the library. Doesn't matter whether you use a uh, this camera or this camera, I just prefer this one. I'm going to cut the window in long in there so I can see a nice profile of the window. Now you do this side because when you draw custom uh, moldings and get into CAD tools, there we go. You, you do a molding, then this side is the one, the left side is the one that attaches to the wall. And so if I was to use the other wall and uh, the window was over here, it'd be, it'd be facing the wrong way. So, okay. That's why this side. That's the way the uh, custom molding tool is uh, profiled to work or parsed to work. Now I'm going to draw just a closed shape. And, of course, to make a custom molding, ideally they should be closed if they're going to represent a solid object. I'm going to make... The thickness doesn't matter right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. And uh, here's the sheathing. You notice when you open the uh, window, go over to Options, and you place a window in a uh, masonry wall, it's going to automatically, in X3 it does, in earlier versions it didn't automatically sense that there was a masonry wall, but recesses to sheathing. Now, of course, you can change this relative to the way you build where you live. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go with this. So I'm going to draw the right-hand side of my uh, profile on the sheathing because the, we the windows are recessed to the sheathing. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to place it uh, this corner here, right? You know, let me do that again. We'll put this corner right on the sheathing. Now I want it eight inches tall. That's just not. That's not an industry industry wide figure. That's just the figure I'm I'm picking. And then the next thing you want to figure out is how much reveal you want. So let's just drag it over and snap it to the surface. And I want about an inch reveal, so I'm going to add an inch to that thickness. Okay. Now I'm going to add it to the library. Click on the Add to Library tool in the Edit Toolbar. Let me show you that again. A lot of guys don't know what the Edit Toolbar is, and I drug that off of there. Whenever you uh, let me put that over there. Whenever you select anything, the edit toolbar comes into being. That's called the edit toolbar. That's what I'm talking about. So when you select something in the edit toolbar, there's a command called add to library. I'm going to left click on that, and it'll add it to the library. It opens up the library browser and gives it uh, a generic name like molding. I think that's the prior copy that I made. I'm just going to delete that one. I don't need two in there. <clears throat> and this one I'm going to rename Brick for Lintel. Just so I know when I come back and, and want to file this later, or find it later, on the, on the way to, how to find it. Now we'll go down to the uh, sill. And same sort of thing. I'm going to draw a shape on the sheathing. Make it three inches tall. Or whatever your brick size is. <clears throat> now I'm not going to do the length yet because I like my brick seals slanted. I'm going to slant it a little bit. And then I want the, the right hand side, or <laughs> my, uh, your other right hand side, the left hand side 
to be right on the sheathing. So I'm going to, again, use a point-to-point -point move and put that right on the sheathing. And then this side, I'm going to move up, maintaining my three inches over here. Now I want this even with the top of the sill. So again, I'm going to use point-to-point -point move and get this exact. You don't have to do this. I guess you could be sloppy. Okay. It's this way I can look at this and, and see if that's that's the effect that I want. That, that's that's the effect that I want. Now I want the reveal. Oh, I guess you could be scientific and measure this and so forth. I'm just looking at it. That's about how much reveal I want. It's however much you want. Okay. I'm going to add that to the library. Again, in the edit toolbar, add to library. And it's added. Gives it a generic name. I'm going to rename it to something that's more specific to what it is. I'm going to call it brick for sill. Okay. Now we're done in this elevation view. That was just to lay these uh, molding profiles out. <clears throat> I'm going to close this. I'm not going to save it. No point in saving it. And no point in saving this window here. I'm going to set those molding profiles as my default. So we'll get out of CAD tools. Press F2 on the keyboard to do that. We'll go to uh, Edit Default Settings. Window. Or the old-fashioned way, just double-click on the uh, what into on the window icon to get the window defaults. <clears throat> so, in this particular case, now I'm not going to argue with anybody about how they build or how you should do this or that. I'm just showing you a way to do it. You can uh, change it up to fit your style of building wherever you live. I want to be on the exterior tab for lintel and sill. And I'm going to uncheck apron. You don't normally have an apron on a brick sill. And also we're going <clears> to... <throat> Check that. This is checked. Now we'll do the lintel first. Click on library. Left click. I'm going to go down to my library. Whenever you add things to the library, this is where it puts them. And there's the uh, lintel that I made a moment ago. Okay, and there it is. And uh, we'll click down here on sill. Same sort of thing. We'll go to my library. There's the sill. <clears throat> and the way I normally uh, draw these is we'll go over to the casing tab and I'm going to suppress the casing. So we just have the brick sill, the frame of the window, and uh, your lintel and sill. I want those lintel eight inches tall, like I drew it, and the sill. There's no, you know, there's no width on it and so forth. That's that's the reason you carefully draw these things and then because you don't have a chance to alter it uh, like when you do a molding polyline you can alter the molding uh, extruded along it but in, in this you're a little restricted. Next thing we want to do, do is uh, <clears throat> let's click OK. If you, have, if you don't recall what kind of brick material you have you probably want to find that out. I just use the materials definition tool and I'm using red brick 5. That's just probably the default material here. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go back to my window defaults, materials, and I want my brick four lintel and my sill to have a, a coarse type material on it. So we'll go to uh, the library material, and we'll find the coarse for uh, brick five. This is un totally unrehearsed. This is how slow my library br browser is at this moment. There we go. <coughs> it was a lot slower until I got it cleaned up and got some a lot of the duplicates out of the library. Now we'll go over here to masonry, stone, brick, natural brick. And uh, it will look like, yeah, red five cores. That's what we want for that material so it'll match the brick in the wall. Hey, but you can see that there's a bit of a problem here. 
and it's just in this type of application. <clears throat> so we're going to cover that too. We'll go over here to uh, lentil and go down to that material, which is now a plan material since I just added it for the other molding. Okay, and you can see it looks goofy up here too. It shouldn't, but it does. So I'm going to click back on plan material. And it should go right to this material here. I'm going to click on edit. <clears throat> I'm going to turn the, now this, you can see this is the texture tab. I'm going to turn it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to go to uh, the general tab and change the pattern from tile. I don't know why they thought tile was a good idea. I guess if you're going to have a, a big wall of nothing but soldier course, that would, that would work. In this case, I just want strip. <clears throat> and I want it three inches tall. And I want it at a, uh, I just like to go over to the pattern tab for that. Change the angle to 90. So now I've got to, in printing and uh, vector views, it'll look like this. And in uh, texture views, it should look like that. Why they're in a disagreement? Well, let's check it out in the camera. I'm not Mr. Know-it-all. We'll just check it out. This is how I think it should go, and then we'll check it. Whenever you do something in Chiefs, you should check it. Now, it, here's, see a little bit of a problem here. Now, this is a vector view, and the lines are running the wrong way in vector view. So I made a mistake. <coughs> go edit, over to the pattern, and change that to zero. Click OK and OK. Now it looks better. We've got our soldier course going right upright and our seal going the right direction. Can't check the uh, textured views and so forth in, in this dialog, but we'll just click OK. <coughs> we'll put a window in there and then we'll check it again. Make sure it, all the programming is, is set right. And that looks that looks right. Now the thing I want to point out here is that the reveal I set when I was creating the molding profile is, a, is the reveal that I got in camera views. That's the reason I did that. Now some of these little lines, okay, it doesn't do a perfect job. Maybe I was off a little bit, but it looks pretty good. I think I'd like to admit. Same thing on the lintel. And just get a little tiny reveal there. If, if, if I wanted less than that or more than that, I could have set that in the molding profile when I drew it. And the reason I do it this way is it's just so much, uh, let me pull another camera view, get the whole corner here. Once you've set that as your window default, now all you have to do is go to your window tool, and every window comes in on the way you set the default. That's a lot easier and time-saving than uh, using other objects than what I've just shown you. Well, thank you for your attention. I hope this helps some people. It's David Jefferson Potter saying, Adiós.